Hi everyone, let's talk about week 16 and see what we are going to learn during this week. Let's go. As you can see in your LMS, in this week we will start lesson 8-9 which is solve problem, uh, problems involving the volume. Now we will go to the volume of the shapes of the 3D shape. Okay, we will take it in two days. After that, uh, we will practice more questions about that. Then we will start uh, topic 7, which is about understand the likelihood and probability. Lesson 1, we will take it in two days. So the main objective for lesson 8-9 is to use uh, the area of the basque of the base and a three-dimensional figure to find the volume okay so we are gonna find the volume of 3d uh, objects the main focus for us will be the shapes that have uh, the two bases are the same which we call them the present okay the present uh, how can I define a prism a prism is the 3d shape that have the top and the face with the same uh, 2d shape okay we can have endless number of uh, presents for example if you can see this one because this is a trapezoid and this is a trapezoid so i can call the, this trapezoidal uh, prism okay and uh, this is also a prism i have a triangle here and triangle there so it's a triangular Prism and so on. Here I have a hexagon and a hexagon, so I can call it hexagonal prism and so on. What do I need to do is to find the area of the base and multiply it with its height. Okay. Sometimes I could have a composite uh, 2D shape, a uh, 3D shape. Sorry. Okay. Here I need to split it into two, um, into two shapes. Okay, and find each one alone. Here are the same idea. I can split. So if I have a, a 3D shape, which is a prism, um, I'm, I'm gonna define where is the base. The base is the uh, face that is repeated two times. So don't be tricked. Don't think that this is the base for me. The base is this one and this one. So here it is uh, because I have one, two, three, four, five um, sides so it is a pentagon so pentagonal prism okay after that we'll uh, start with lesson 7.1 which is understand likelihood and probability uh, the main objective here is to describe the likelihood that an event will occur so i have many keywords here okay we will learn them what is the outcomes uh, what is the probability of something? We will use uh, so many examples, same as the spinner, um, number cube, um, so many examples. We will go through them. This is a very important important idea, which is uh, what is the impossible event? What is the certain event? What is the unlikely and likely? So this diagram is so important. We will go through it uh, through the class okay um, I can present the probability in terms of fractions I can present them in terms of decimals and I can present them in terms of percentage okay uh, we will learn the concept of fair and unfair okay we will solve so many questions thank you grade 7 see you later